Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 22 Everton career mode and today we've got episode 3. And so in the last episode then we did go ahead and actually get Donny van der Beek signed into the team right now. And you know what guys, this team's looking really good. Van der Beek, Dele Alli both coming in in the summer transfer window. And in the Premier League then, last episode we finished off with a game against United where we went to a back five, tried to go and counter attack in. Didn't work out guys, ended up losing that game 4-0. Pretty, pretty embarrassing. But at the top of the table, they're on five wins out of seven. We're in seventh place with three wins out of seven. And also then in today's episode, we're going to take a look at Adam Harrison, who, again, we got him as a Youth Academy player, our scout future star. We got him on a right wing development plan. However, he's just not increasing. He's been 69 since the start of the season. So we're going to take a look and see what we can do to get that moving forward. And in terms of games then, for today's episode, we've got some really, really big games, guys. And games we've got to be winning if we want to stay in and around that top six, you know, in, in, inside seventh and eighth place, to be honest. We've got West Ham, we've got Watford, we've got Wolves coming up with us, we've got Spurs in the Premier League as well. So again, four big games there in the Prem, which we need wins in. And so before we go any further then, if you guys are looking forward to today's episode, obviously the support has been unreal on the first two episodes. Please let me know, drop another like down below in the video and also hit the subscribe button if you are new. It's completely free and you can always go back and change your mind. And now let's get into your guys' comments then from the previous episode. And don't forget guys, when you get your comments featured, leave them down below in the comment section. But into the first one here, we got Basil, who left me loads of comments on the last episode. Honestly, I really do appreciate that. Helped me out so much with this career mode. But into his comment, which says, change Harrison into a right winger and put him in the left wing development plan, but not change him. I'm a new subscriber and loving your content. And I really do appreciate that. Again, the number of comments he left... You look at like six or seven comments, all with loads of thumbs up as well. So again, I appreciate the support. And yeah, I agree. Harrison isn't growing, so I'm going to swap him now to a right winger. Then go on my left wing development plan. I think it's some type of glitch where it will just grow quite fast. And the next question then for today's episode says, give Deli Alli the number 36 because he'll wear it for Everton in real life. Now, of course, when I recorded last episode, for some reason, Deli Alli wasn't given a kit number yet by Everton. But finally, now we know he will wear the number 36. So in terms of Van der Beek and Deli Alli, Van der Beek is going to wear the number 30 for Everton in real life. So I'm going to do the same for Deli Alli, give him number 36. The next season, when El Ghazi goes back, 34 will become available for Van der Beek. And Deli Alli might change to number 10. But either way, let's give him the number 20, uh, the number 36, sorry. And we'll move on from there. And at least both of them will have the same number as they do in real life. And here we go then, the final one for today's episode, which again comes from Basil, who again really helped me out in that last episode down below in the comments. And it says, you should sign someone like Konza at Tuanzabee to rotate in games where you play the 5-3-2. You can't rely on Keane and Mina to play every match with 40 to 60 pace. Yeah, I agree. Again, I didn't mind the idea of making, you know, the new team sheet with the counter-attacking style to go against the top six. But are you guys seen that game? Uh, Nathan Patterson out on the right really got annihilated. Really, really got annihilated. After all, ended 4-0. So I think a centre-back that's young, got good pace as well, really coming in and, you know, definitely playing games like that. And here we go then, Harrison. Let's get him converted to a right winger, then get him on left wing development plan right now. So let's obviously see Willie increase and... Wow. Wow. Got up by seven overalls. This guy... Could be in the first team in today's episode. Wow, okay, let's get him on a left wing plan right now. I never expected that. I'm going to buy seven. I was thinking maybe three at most, but seven overalls. Okay, here we go. Left wing development plan. Now, of course, when he completes this, I'm not going to convert him. I'm going to keep him as a right winger, of course, but he should still now develop re relatively fast. Okay, here he is then. We've now promoted him to the first team. You can see in terms of right midfielders, how good he really is at the age he is. Age 16, and he's almost as good as Townsend and Iwobi already. In terms of Gordon as well, and, you know, left wingers and things like that, he's, he's really good at Gray. 78 rated Gordon, 69. He's ahead of Gordon already, so this guy really will be a star player for us. And okay, then, so we talked about centre-backs at the start of today's episode. Going down, I made a quick short list here. going to scout them and just get a feeler for how good these guys really are. These two at the bottom here, two Bayer Leverkusen players. Look at the sprint speed, 79 to 89 and 82 to, 8, 82 to 92. Unreal. So I'd love to sign one of them into the team again. Not against um, Konza or Tuanzabi. The yellow. Now I added him on here because Everton were interested, I think, on loaning him before deadline day ended. But again, I'm just going to go ahead and just stop scouting him altogether. But I think let's get these scout reports back and see how good they are. Now here we go then. Let's get into the first game for today's episode. Like I say, taking on West Ham. Not going to be easy. We are at home. Get three points in this. This will be massive for us. Got our strongest on 11th and the beak, Dali Ali. Going to start in this game, of course. Mina Godfrey as centre-backs. Patterson, I'm going to start him. See how he gets on in today's episode. If he's not going too well, we can always bring Coleman into the team. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Here we go then. Excited for this one. 
And what day will this be uploaded? This will be uploaded tomorrow, actually, so I can't wait for tomorrow because I'm going to see Frank Lampard's first game in charge taking Brentford on, which, again, I, I just can't wait. The only thing about a game that annoys me is that Deli Ali and Van der Beek both cup-tied, so we won't see them in that game, but we'll get an idea of how Frank Lampard's going to play and, well, not... not no, not specifically him playing, but how Everton are going to play under him. There we go, Calvert-Lewin sets off to Mari Gray. Might go to make it 1-0. Mm. Didn't know whether to work it back into the box, try and get a pass going on. Richarlison, he's, he's had a good scoring record so far. You can see six goals in the Prem. Here is the man himself, then Richarlison. Calvert-Lewin's making a run. Dele Alli. Dele Alli. maybe a shot himself. And, wow, okay, Fabianski had to work for that. Okay, West Ham, interesting ball. Patterson, unable to deal with that, but Godfrey... Let's have to collect that one over back. Now Van der Beek. Let's go. Down the right-hand side. Damari Gray. Cabot Loon's making a run. Wow, is that going to find him? Wow, I was going to say. That's going to be a close offside. Let's have a see of that. Because I didn't think he was going to pull that off. And he pulled it off. And, wow, one of the closest I've seen. Cabot Loon. Fred's it on. Fred's it on. Richarlison inside. The pass to Cabot Loon. Oh, never mind. Pass to Van der Beek, actually. Just couldn't get there to him. Van der Beek. Plays it up the line. Patterson. Just try and keep hold of this, actually. Okay, getting time on the ball. Cross mm, Yeah. That's the only downfall to Patterson, guys. He's, he's all right defensively, to be fair, and getting forward, he does well. But in terms of crossing and that sort of end product, that end product is just not there yet. There we go. Here comes West Ham. Antonio. You know I mean? A little bit out of position. Patterson have to do a little bit of defensive work here for Nals. Come on, you can nick that. Oh, Van der Beek. Vlahovic. Vlasic. Sorry, what am I on about? There we go, Alan doing his role really well there. Calvert Lewin, get Damari Gray running. Go on, he's got some pace in him. Damari Gray, not the fastest, but he's definitely quite quick here. Still ahead, still ahead. A little chip over, trying to get ahead on that. Dill Ali, and it's one nil, and it's one nil. There we go, great run from Damari Gray down that right hand side. Dill Ali with his new number thirty six. This how it's gonna look. Looks good. It looks good, you know. The thing that makes it feel better is I know he actually plays at Everton in real life now. Whereas it is just career mode signing, but knowing that he's had to get a look in real life feels even better. Tomorrow, great. Chipped over. Great. Delali again. Making that run to the box. Scoring goals as he, you know, as his former self did. Delali Pass up. Calvert-Lewin. Could we make it two? Could we make it two? Richarlison. Go on. Go on. Go on. You've got the time. You've got the space. Just finish that. Across the keeper. Off the bar. Off the woodwork. That's a shame. That would have been perfect. 2-0 at hard time. Really would. Van der Beek, cutting it out. Great positioning. Damari Gray. Calvert-Lewin. Easy. That was that was one of the easiest passes that he could have probably ever played. Okay, straight to Richarlison here. One of the easiest passes could have ever played. Van der Beek, maybe with strike himself. Not a bad effort. I've well, been in a little bit of trouble here. Good to watch the runs. Oh, no way. Vlasic, great goal. It's a great goal, let's be honest. I'm trying to watch one run. He just makes a little jog into the box. Great pass, simple pass, but West Ham are now level. They're away from home. They get a win away from home. That'd be big for them. Got to do better. We've got to do better here. Again, defending-wise, I'm trying to watch this run there, and then Vlasic just makes that run straight past the back of Alan. Alan, you're either going to track that run or go to the play with the ball. He doesn't, and Yorimina, again, nowhere near. Alan, Van der Beek, Patterson... Let's try and maybe work this inside. Pass to Calvert-Lewin. Pass is on. Then Ali. Oh, I just can't get to that. Just can't get to that. We just need something like that. Just something like that. Just to get us back in front. Mikalenko. Okay, Richarlison. Let's get it to him. Maybe a little cross inside. Might just work here. Demar Gray's there. But uh, straight to Fabianski. Okay, Patterson. Having to track back. Vlasic already scored in this game. Godfrey's going over. Godfrey. Oh, great defending. Just get that away. Just get that away now. There we go, Mikalenko. Could he get a cross in? Cross is coming in, but it's poor. Edge of the box. Oh, I'm not going to get to that. We're not going to get to that. Looking like full time in this one. Yep, yeah, 1-1. One, one. Not good enough. Really not good enough. Again, Vlasic, great goal from West Ham. Just got that running behind Alan. Didn't see him coming. And they get a draw away from home. And for us, we should be winning that. And here is then how the league table's looking after that draw against West Ham. We're no longer in the top eight of the table right now. You have to go down to 10th. Where you find us on 12 points. Quite close so far though. Because we get a win. Uh, we could go up to 15 points where Man City are. So it's not the end of the world. But I know it's Spurs top of the table. And we are taking them on in today's episode. So I don't like the idea of that. We also get an email here about El Ghazi not getting any game time of course. Aston Villa will recall him. And to be honest. I'm not against that. It's just that I don't really find a spot for him in the team. If I take Richardson off. 
Normally Gordon's coming on. If I take Grey off, Gordon's coming on. Plus our scout future star now, who's 76 rated. Al Ghazi, to be honest, I think the whole reason in real life he was loaned in was sort of lowered. Uh, was something to do with Luca Dean deal. I think make it not look as bad, or I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I really don't know, but we don't really need him. And okay, then Harrison has completed his development plan. He could get converted right now to a left winger. We're not going to do it though. We're going to leave him as he is, a right winger on a left wing development plan, and just see how many overalls he can now grow uh, between now and the end of the season. And you guys can see a little bit of a problem I have right now. We've got a game coming up, Watford. I want to sim this one, but El Ghazi. Where does he sort of fit into the team? Again, I could put him in place for Richarlison, but Richarlison playing really well. Six goals so far in the league for us. So if he's going to be our goal scorer, I can't really sub him off. Gray, I think, played quite well last, uh, last game. Got, got the assist for the goal. So do I sub him off for him? Again, I'd rather Gordon be getting game time. Our own player, 20 years of age. So again, I don't really know where I get him game time in the team at the moment. Obviously, we've got a Wobi Townsend as well. So you guys can see the problem we're having at the moment. But uh, let's sim this next one. We've got Watford. Coleman's going to come in. Just give Patson a little bit of a rest. And can we get the win? There we go. 2 and win. Van der Beek and Carvalho with the goals. Okay, so our next one coming up is in the Carabao Cup. Taking on Blackburn Rovers. And you know what? Blackburn Rovers have got a fairly decent side, guys. I did a career mode with them on FIFA 21. Pretty impressed with the team. Not going to lie. So for this one, we're going to rotate the team a little bit here. Let's get Sims in. Got a minus two. But I'm hoping it's not a major problem. Let's get Decore in midfield as well. Let's give him game time. Gabami, let's get him on for Alan. I'm a little bit worried how weak this team might just be here. Let's get Keane on as well. Uh, Coleman definitely at right back. I want to put maybe... I want to put maybe our youngster. I want um, Oyango on the bench. Let's get him on the bench for Ogarzi. And I want our youngster, Harrison, maybe getting game time. I'm going to put him on the bench. I'm not going to start him. Let's put him on for Yerimina. There we go. Let's sim this right now. Here we go. Are we, gonna, are we gonna get knocked out or are we gonna get through? Let's have a see. And we go through. It's lucky. Calvert Lewin comes on for Sims at half time. Harrison's coming on for 14 minutes, which is good. So the scare reports then have started to return. We can move, uh, we can remove, sorry, Diallo from the shortlist. But right now, I'd be interested in any of these signings. To be honest, Konsa, I don't think Aston Villa would let him go to us. Say if this is real life, I don't think they would sell him to us. Although, you just never know. They might have someone who they might look to replace him with. But either way, to Anzabi. Um, or either of these two, to be honest, I do not have a clue how to pronounce either of these two guys' names. But these two do look really good in terms of pace. Like I say, this guy's got 85, this guy's got 84. So either way, I think either of them will be really good. One can play centre-back and right-back, one can play centre-back and left-back. So, again, let me know down below in the comments who you think we should sign as a centre-back coming in. Because I think in the, su in the summer, in January, I think we could possibly sell Holgate or Michael Keane. Okay, then our next one in today's episode, as I mentioned, taking on Wolves, who are above us in the table right now. So a win against them will be great. Their back five is going to be difficult to break down, but uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Again, Richarlison in really good form. Calvert-Lewin in good form as well. Gray got the assist in the first game. Patterson going to start him in this game. So, yeah, again, I think if we win that midfield battle, it will help us break it down that back five. Here we go then. Wolves, a very tough side. Very, very tough side. Not going to lie. And um, we're just going to have to make sure we try and get a win here. Again, West Ham, this point we let that goal in, to be honest. I feel like a 1-0 win would have done us to start the episode. I would have took that any day of the week, especially against West Ham. But uh, again, we're just going to make sure we get a win in this one. I'm also interested, if any of you guys have watched Wolves this season, please let me know. Oh, I've seen that run. I've seen that run from Dele Alli. Uh, please let me know how Trincao is getting on. Because, to be honest, I'm not too sure how he's getting on in the Prem. I'd love to know. Here we go, a little chip over. Oh, go on. Finish that. Go on. Oh, not bad. Not bad from Gray. Wolves, in my opinion, should have done better defending there. How we even got a shot away. Gray whips that in. Not a bad cross. The header's down. It's... I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I say it a lot, but I thought that was in. Oh, here we go. Jimenez. Jimenez. There's passes. There's passes available. And there shouldn't be. Patterson. Patterson. Okay, we might have just... Okay, I say we might have just dealt with this and we have. Godfrey. Great header. Cavalooing again. Jimenez just allowed to just get into our box. Problem three. Richarlison. Cavalooing. Just can't feed him through. Dele Alli. Pass inside. Richarlison. Alan. Van der Beek. The touch. The finish. Took a deflection. Took a deflection. Didn't it? What? I'm sh adamant that took a deflection. Mario Gray. What a ball. Cavalooing. The finish. And it's there. And there we go. 1 0. I'll tell you what. Damari Gray. What an episode he's having so far. Two assists for him. And you know what, Richarlison, I was banging all my hopes on him after seeing, obviously, how many goals he's got so far this season. But we're going down the left, just doesn't seem to be working at the moment. We're down the right, Damari Gray, look at that, chipped over. Again, shout out Calvin lewin chest sat down so well, great finish as well. And how many goals? Five goals for him now. 
Okay, we're giving away a foul here. I don't think it's, you know, in distance for shooting, although I won't put it past him. Neves, over the top. Pickford, Pickford. Yeah, there we go. His all day long. Oh, this is poor. This is poor. Drink out. Let's, let's see how he gets on right now. The tackle in. Oh, there we go. Mikolenko, great tackle. Van the Beek can definitely thread this one for Damari Gray. He makes that run inside. Okay, into... Oh, tried it into the feet of Calvert-Lewin. Didn't, didn't succeed. No, no. This is problem. This is problem. Problem. Pickford... Trincao, who I mentioned at the start of today's, start of today's episode, start of, today, start of this game, goes ahead and scores. Pickford, I tell you what, it's a great first save. You can't really do much about the second one. I'm not blaming him for that. Again, he made a great first save, but again, the rebound, straight back to Trincao. Not really much you can do here. Again, look at this. Look at this. What a save. And then the rebound again. Well, I don't know what he's doing, running into the post. But, <laughs> yeah, again, open goal for him. I can't really blame Pickford there. He made a great first save. That's just one of the things that happen. Okay, let's not allow Wolves to get uh, in front in this game. There we go, Mikolenko, just to get that one dealt with. Again, we don't want Wolves in front. I think we get into our time, come out second half, guns blazing and try and get back in front. Just do not concede. Pickford, Pickford, Pickford. There we go. Yeah, into our time right now. Let's come out this second half right now and get that win. Dele Alli plays the pass forward. Richarlison, Mikolenko, trying to get him on the overlap. Cross coming in. It's inside, Van der Beek maybe. Back out, Mikolenko, head on the edge of the box. Dele Alli's free. The pass is on. Calvert Lewin, maybe. Oh, the chance. The chance was there. No, no. What? No. Guys, I wanted to come out the second half. Guns blazing, like I said, and just go out there and just push for this winner. And no, Wolves have come out and done their job. Look at this here. Look at this defending. What? Godfrey, what is that about? I thought you had control of the ball. Martina just carries on through, and I just knew as soon as that ball left his foot, that was going in. And there we go. It's now 2-1 to Wolves. And we're looking at ourselves now, asking, what are the answers? How do we get back in front? Patterson, inside. Alan, who go pass through. Covert Lewin. Oh, again, he's, he's lost that too easily for me. He's lost that way too easily. Might be a problem once again. Where is everyone? What? Come on. We need to close him down. Close him down. Oh, there we go. Van der Beek. Great interception. Let's go. Damari Gray can play that. Oh, come on, the passing, the passing's going to be a little bit better here. Dele Alli over the top, Calvert-Lewin is making a run, but straight to the keeper. Podence inside, Jimenez, there we go, Yerimina, Yerimina, get that passed up. There we go again, I have to do a lot of defending at the moment. Dele Alli, Richarlison, trying to time that, trying to time that. Oh, Semedo, it's quite end-to-end -end at the moment, but our, in terms of us going up their end, it's not really happening. This could be, this could go from bad to worse. Pickford, what a save. What a save from Pickford. I think I think we need to make a change. We need some fresh legs coming on right now, as Wolves are doing. We need fresh legs and just get on the attack. Alan inside, Calvert Lewin. Decore, let's go for goal. Oh, come on, Decore. That might be it. That might be it for this game. Decore, it's not his best strike, let's be honest. Just rising and rising. He's come on now for Deli Alli. We've got Gordon on for Damari Gray. Some fresh legs, but I don't think it's enough now. But there we go in the full time whistle on this one. Wolves get a 2 1 win at home. Really disappointing. Really, really disappointing. Considering we, you know, we got the first goal. They get level. Okay, going second half. Second half, we just was not in the game. It felt like we was not in that game in the second half. Okay, so looking at the table after that game, we find ourselves now in ninth place. Of course, we did get the win against Watford. Liverpool now at the top of the table. Level one points though is Spurs, who we take on next. We're at home. We have to get a win. We just have to get a win. So I've got a feeling if we don't, we could drop down, I don't know, guys, as low as, you know, possibly, what are we on now, 15? We could drop as low as 11 for 12, you know, 3, 4 places, and I do not want to do that. And just want to have a quick look as well at the top scorers list. Spurs have got Zaha, no, Son and Kane, I'm getting mixed up there, yeah. They've got Son and Kane on 5 goals each in the Prem so far, obviously, with Charleston's on 6. He hasn't really scored in today's episode, Calvert-Lewin on 5. But, uh, yeah, again, it's going to be a tough one against Spurs. And in the meantime, then, of all these games, we're going to try to get a loan deal for Ellis Sims. Managed to get one for him. Cagliari willing to take him on loan for two years. In real life, I think he's joined um, a team in the Scottish League. Before that, he was at Blackpool. But uh, right now, Cagliari going to take him for a two-year loan. And here is then how two teams going to line up for this one. Now, I'm not too sure, guys. I'm thinking to go with Coleman in this one. I really, really tempted. to just go Coleman and just try and get the win. Again, we're against Spurs, who are you know, joint level with Liverpool on points. We do need a strong team, and I think Patterson at times, as good as he is, again, he is developing now, but just certain points in games where their left winger, their left side, is able to get down the pitch so easily. And so, yeah, let's get Coleman in for this one. Godfrey, 
Palmer wants to sub him out, but again, Keen or Holgate don't really... It's just not really jumping out at me saying, you know, get them into the team. So apart from that, I think what I might do, actually, Deli Ali against his former side here, just push him up as a cam and just see... Again, that's a little bit too high up, actually. Let's get him a little bit... There we go. There we go. It's a little bit better. Just push him a little bit higher up. Try and get that, you know, link going with Calvert-Lewin. There we go. Mikolenko wins it back early on. Let's go with Charleston. Come on, we're at home here. Let's show them. Let's show them how good we are. Calvert-Lewin. Okay, Bastoni. Just noticed he's signed Bastoni. Okay, fair play, Spurs. Fair play. Conte going back to his uh, former team, Inter. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Mikolenko get back over. Lucas, the cross is in. Coleman. Some with the header, but luckily it's over. Lucas Mora. Yerimino with a tackle. Okay. Little bit of a problem. And okay, offside in the end. Yeah, I don't know why at certain times we can't just get that ball cleared. Here we go, Coleman. Damari Gray is an option. Play that. Oh, again, Sassignon. Great tackle. Great, great tackle. Obviously, Spurs playing that 5-2-3. Obviously, it's going to be, you know, a little, little bit like a 3-4-3 three, three at times when the wide players' wing backs get forward. So, that will be difficult in midfield. Got a little bit outnumbered. Cross coming in. Son, completely free, but great defending. Hurricane. Mora inside. And Dombele. Come on, got to get this cleared. No, no. Harry Kane makes it 1-0. Harry Kane, again, if he's got that much time in the ball, it's not even that much time, like, in terms of other strikers getting time in the ball in today's episode, but that's all he needs. That is all he needs. Just this split second, and there you go. It's 1-0. As easy as that. Bottom corner, Pickford, just nowhere near it. Cross coming in. Richarlison's on that. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. We could have we could have been level. Could have been level straight away there. Dali Ali sends it out wide. Richarlison just got to work it in. Richarlison for goal. Oh, Del Alli wins the header. Khan and Dombele gets there a little bit first. But again, we're, we're fighting back here against Spurs. We're not just sitting back now. Oh, here we go. Gray battling. Coleman. Coleman, just get the crossing. Just get the crossing here. Calvert Lewin trying to wait for him in there. Richarlison's down. It's 1 1. And it's 1 1. There we go. Into hard time. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Richarlison, what a goal that is. Coleman. You can tell the difference in this game with Coleman starting as opposed to Patterson. And I don't mean that in terms of attacking because both are quite good attacking. Um, but yeah, look at this. Look at this. Coleman again. I'm trying to wait for Calvert-Lewin to get in there. He wasn't getting where I wanted him to, but Charleston was. And there we go. What a header. And now we'll go into half time 1-1. There we go. Dele Alli can play that out wide with Charleston. Just going to work this in. Back to Dele Alli. Edge of the box maybe. Dele Alli. Play the pass across. Van der Beek. Shot. Oh, it's blocked. Falls to Dele Alli though. Maybe a shot from himself. Whoa. That wasn't that wasn't a bad strike, you know. Richarlison held on to it. Dele Alli now. Alan. Okay, I can see Coleman making a run. Coleman. Good run. Good run. Calvert Lewin, I can see you. He's coming in towards you. 2-1. Oh, how's that not 2-1? How is that not 2-1? Dele Alli. Richarlison. Back to Dele Alli. Never mind. It's back to Calvert Lewin. Come on. We're all over Spurs. If we don't walk away here with at least another goal. I'll be disappointed. We're, get, we're getting so many chances. In from Gray. I think it's Larissa's. Yeah, Larissa all day long. There we go. Win that. Win that. Calvert Lewin. That's great. Let's go, Gray. Richarlison. Richarlison. We can find him. We can find him. Across the. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Richarlison. Oh, Larissa. Larissa just ahead of him. Okay. One back straight away. Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin. Just had to be on target, didn't it? Just had to be on target, and it wasn't. Okay, so we're chasing a winner here against Spurs. Let's have a look at making some changes. I think Richarlison's played quite well, to be honest. Let's get Gray off. Let's get Gordon on some fresh legs. I think Decore on at some point. Happy with Dele Alli so far. I think maybe Decore on for Van der Beek. Just that fresh legs again. But uh, apart from that, let's go with that. There we go, Van der Beek. Gordon. Let's get Gordon running. Let's get Gordon running. There we go. Is that perfect? Is it perfect? Finish, Gordon. Oh, come on. Come on, Gordon. You've got to be getting that on target. I, I know I should say goal, really, but on target, I'd be happy with. Another change for Spurs again. Maybe time for us to make another change. Here we go. Coleman. Van der Beek. We can't allow this to slip. Come on, come on. Dele Alli. Over the top. Calvert-Lewin. Something on that. Maybe over the top. Maybe over the top. Alan, I don't think he's winning that. He does win it. Van der Beek. Um, where do we go? Where do we go? Just going to keep hold of this. Don't want don't to do anything too rash. Alan. Dele Alli. Maybe over the top for Charleston. Something. No. Over the top. Just wasn't working. Two minutes added on. Maybe one last chance. Van der Beek. Gordon. In towards Calvert-Lewin. The strike. Van der Beek, maybe. Oh, come on. A couple of chances towards the end. Couldn't get the winner. And to be honest, at the start of the episode, if you would have said a draw against Spurs who are top of the table, I would have took that. 
But considering, a, you know, a draw against West Ham, a loss against Wolves, I really wanted to win. So here is then league table after that draw against Spurs again. I feel like if we got a win against West Ham, or even a draw against West Ham, a win against Wolves, and then, a, a, you know, a draw against Spurs, or something like that, the fact we haven't got a win in today's episode is quite annoying. I'm not going to lie. In ninth place on 16 points, the gap is getting quite big right now between us and first and second. But to be honest, first and second, of course, isn't our aim this season. For us this season, I finish either 5th, 6th or 7th. Try and get that Europa Conference League if possible, Europa League if possible. Of course, Champions League could be a dream. But uh, yeah, again, ninth place, we need to start picking up them wins. I'm talking about picking up some wins then next episode. We've got Man City up first, then we take on Brentford. Then we go into December, where we've got Liverpool. Ar um, Arsenal, we've got Chelsea, we've got Leicester, United in the Cup. Again, some tough games, Crystal Palace as well. Burnley, Newcastle, who'll be wanting some wins. So it's going to start getting difficult now. And of course, then please let me know down below in the comments a good centre back to sign, guys, because we either go out in next summer and sign a big, you know, 85 plus rated or 84 plus rated centre back that's going to come in and be our starting centre back, uh, starting centre back, or we go out right now, sign someone in January that's going to replace Michael Keane or Holgate, their place on the bench. We can start getting them into the team. But there we go, I'm going to leave that there for today's episode, guys. Again, not the best episode in terms of results. I really expected a win against West Ham. And even Wolves, I thought, won the look. 1-1 one, one at half time. Fair play. We can come out second half. Second half, I felt like we might as well not have been playing because we didn't really have many chances. The core at the end, but that was it. Uh, and then again, Spurs, to be honest, maybe we should have gone five at the back counter-attack in that game. But I thought at home, we might be able to play our normal formation and get a win. Again, a draw against Spurs. I'll take that, but... Considering the other results, it's not the best. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, let me know. Leave a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. I'll catch you in the next episode.